a slight autobiographical introduction for this poem. Um, I grew up in Michigan, like slightly uh, on the lower porridge class like thing. Um, and as that being a teenager at the same time, Eminem was my idol despite his, mis despite his misogyny and general other issues. <laughs> but so this is two trailer park girls go around the outside for Eminem. Um, <laughs> Yay, trailer park girls. Um, okay. I was 15 when the Eminem show came out. A brace faced, Michigan poor scarecrow of angst that the universe kept shitting at. I hoarded cooking wine and Sylvia Plath. I pierced my own belly button with a sewing needle. I was old enough to be angry at the litany of nice things in the world that were not for me. Cars, college, sit down restaurants, <laughs> vacations, ballet lessons, Nikes. And you, you gave me an anthem for being born into a life that I, that came complete with a WIC application and a card of parliament for sitting quietly, practicing my alphabet. During my dad's AA meetings, while adults bemoaned their childhoods and chain smoked. Yeah. Well, I waited to see if and when it would be my turn to speak. And me and my girls, we screeched your mantras in the backs of lunch lines and bathroom stalls. We shook our awkward little white girl asses, mostly on beat, and for once, I didn't feel the need to convince anyone that I lived in a real house, that it was just next to the subsidized apartments and trailer parks, that there weren't even any rusting Ford carcasses on the lawn, that those occasional twilight puffs at the corner were fireworks, because we had so much to celebrate. I want to take you back to the day I learned the neighborhood boys had burned down the park playground. I think that maybe you would understand why I climbed up too high into the thinning branches of the trees out back and worried everyone. I'm still distilling my childhood into discreet moments of no lunch money and secondhand clothes. Um, I hope it's okay if I call you that. I think that my mother did the best she could with what she had. I'm a college graduate with food stamps and no furniture in my apartment. Everything I own is fraying and loved. Last night, I slow danced with a woman. And when I lost up twirling, she said that maybe I needed to learn to follow a good lead. And my wine-stained mouth slurred. I just got confused because you let go of my hand 